I inevitably do a lot of sanding at Nashville Restoration, and it seems like the table legs or the chair legs seem to be just take a lot of time and kind of frustrating to get right. So I was thinking about how they shine shoes and how they wrap the rag around the front of the shoe and shine it like that. And with that, I came up with this idea on how to sand furniture. So for this project, you will need some spray glue, like an Elmer's glue wall, some sandpaper, and some fabric that is not stretchy fabric. So you need some fabric that is not stretchy fabric. It can be blue jeans that are not stretch or any non-stretchable fabric. A t-shirt won't work because it's got stretch to it. If you use a stretchy fabric, it will uh, loosen the glue behind the sandpaper and it will just fall apart. So this is a standard size piece of sandpaper and I'm using the short, the shortest uh, width of the sandpaper to do this with and I have five inches on each side of the sandpaper. <laughs> five inches on each side of the sandpaper. And this is Glock and he approves. <laughs> right, buddy? I'm trying to make a video, puppy. Hey. I'm trying to make a video, buddy. Nice. Okay, well, uh, I guess we're not making a video right now. <laughs> Who's a good boy? So I'm going to take this sandpaper. This is the long edge and this is the short edge. I want to use the short one. So I want it in three sections pretty much. We'll be back for the next segment. Okay, so uh, what you want to do is take your spray adhesive and you want to spray the back of your sandpaper. Cover it pretty well and immediately put it on your fabric. It's going to start to dry pretty quick. Now, you're going to roll it on. Find something round to roll it with. You can use a tube of caulking. Here's some packing tape. You can use that. You can use a glass. And you can also use a roller if you have one, a rolling pin. This is for um, ink art. See how that makes it like nice and flat, nicely adhered to the surface. And repeat the same things with the other sandpaper. I try not to spray on the fabric just so I don't get glue where I don't want it. And once you've got a sheet of sandpaper on there, you don't want to spray glue on it.
there you go. I'm gonna let this dry out here in the sun for about an hour just because I want to be sure it's completely dry. Um, if it was inside, I would probably give it three or four hours just because if it's not dry and you go to use it, you can uh, lose your whole sheet of sandpaper. So we'll let this dry and come back. This is the best kind of sandpaper to use for this. This is, I believe, exclusively at Lowe's. The reason this is so good for this is because the backing to this, I would have used this, but uh, this was my last sheet. But this does not come apart like the other paper and sandpaper does. So it works really well as far as gluing it on the fabric. It lasts a lot longer than regular sandpaper. So best thing to use, not what I'm using right now. All sandpaper works, this just happens to work better. Once you've got your sandpaper sheets cut into strips, you can grab one each end of one of the strips and start sanding. You're basically just going to hold on to the ends of the fabric and use the sandpaper just like a shoe polisher would going over a shoe. I use these sandpaper strips to do the entire piece of furniture, not just the legs. You can see here how on a round top, you can just put the fabric in the center and you can just rotate it around and get the entire edge. This does a marvelous job getting down in the cracks and it makes the job so much faster and so much enjoyable for me. I am just crazy about doing sandpaper this way now. All right, just gonna put some finishing touches on this table, doing the round circular thing. You can use this same technique to run down the edges of the table or to sand and distress any part of furniture. I had a couple of these chairs to do and this just made this so much faster and easier to do than the regular way of sandpaper. So anyway, that is it for today. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and check back often. I put up new videos all the time. Thank you.